Hey guys, welcome back to our video. So this is a new version of Silver Bullet. Now I know if you have been using Silver Bullet in the past, you might know that it doesn't work that well. It has a 45% to 40% win rate with 1 to 2, our risk to reward, but it's not something that you should depend on. But this remastered version is very powerful. And I'm going to teach you each and everything in this video. So the number one thing I'm going to teach you is how to determine the intraday buy bias. For a silver bullet, we need to know the intraday bias. We need to determine the intraday bias. That is very important. We need to know where the price will head to during New York session. So number two, I'm going to teach you how to determine bias. Then we're going to use YRL to IRL methodology later in the video. And fourth and fifth is a circuit thing that I'm going to teach you later on in the video. So let's learn about what is actually a silver bullet, right? Let's so then about the old silver bullet, so a lot of people know what I'm talking about. So during 3 a.m. to 4 a.m., we are looking for a fair value gap to form, and then we're looking to take our entry from that fair value gap. So let's assume that this right here is the 3 a.m., right? 3 a.m. And this is like a 4 a.m. window period. So we can take our entry from 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. That's the London session silver bullet. So the first probability gap that forms after 3 a.m., you will take your entry from that probability gap. Your entry must be before 4 a.m., right? And then you can go for 1 to 2 o'clock or 1 to 1. Now, similarly, the New York silver bullet is from 10 a.m. till 11 a.m. So you must get an entry before 11 a.m. And the very first value gap that forms on the one minute time frame after 10 a.m that should be your entry level but it is not that simple because most of the time you're going to get stopped out all right because we do not have a proper bias we do not have an intraday bias and that is very important so how do you actually determine the intraday bias let me explain it to you so by now you must know that what is external range liquidity and internal range liquidity. So to summarize this, whenever price takes out external range liquidity, we always go to internal range liquidity. And if we go to internal range liquidity, we always go to external range liquidity. External range liquidity is every high and low. So this is external, this is external. And internal is every single fair value gap. So if there is a fair value gap here, that is going to be your internal range locality. So price goes from external to internal and from internal to external. By using this, we can determine the bias for silver bullet, but it's not that simple. So on the 15 minute time frame before your silver bullet time, so before 3 a.m. or before 10 a.m., you are looking for a URL and to IRL formation. Look in the past if price has taken out some form of an URL. So let's suppose that at 3 a.m., right? So let me just do this. That's when the London session silver bullet starts. So at 3 a.m. or just before 3 a.m., price took out some form of external range liquidity on the 15-minute time frame. And just below this level, there is a fair value gap. And now, on the 15-minute time frame, once the external is taken out, you are dropping down to 1-minute time frame. Now, all we are looking for is a market structure shift on the one minute time frame with a fair value gap. So if we get a fair value gap and we are still in the silver bullet hours, so from 3 a.m. to 4 a.m., we can easily take our entry and we can target this level or we can go for one to two or one to one. Now, how did we determine our bias? It's very simple. We use external to internal range methodology, right? We always go from external to internal. And in this case, you can see that during the silver bullet period, price took out external range on the 15 minute time frame. Afterwards, we looked for a market structure shift. We had our bias here that this fair value gap is going to be filled. And by using that, by keeping that thing in mind, we took our entry from the fair value gap. That was your silver bullet entry with bias. This. Now, here is the secret thing. Look for SMT divergences around here. So price takes out URL. You can get, you know, SMT on the one minute, or you can also get SMT on the 15 minutes. 
So what exactly is SMT? So let's suppose on your USD, we made a higher high, higher low, and then a higher high. We failed to create another higher high. So let me just fix that up. We failed to create another higher high. And we just didn't we were not able to create a higher high on GU. So that is an extra confluence. When you get SMT divergence, and then you look for a market structure shift and take it into it, that's going to increase your probability you'll see so much, guys. Like, this is literally insane. So similarly, you would do the same for New York silver bullets. So just before 10 a.m. or after 10 a.m., look for external range liquidity perch, and then identify the fair value gap in the dealing range. So what exactly is a dealing range? Dealing range is determined. So let's assume this is dealing range low. And this is dealing range high. Actually, this is dealing range high, and I'm going to explain what I mean by it. So a dealing range high is determined by the high that sweeps liquidity and then pushes down. So you can see this leg swept the liquidity. So this is the dealing range high. Now let's assume this low swept some form of liquidity on the 15 minute. Now, this is your dealing range low, and this is your dealing range high. Why? Because this low swept liquidity and pushed up, and this high swept liquidity and pushed down. So that's when you use FIB and determine your premium and discount zones. Look for a fair value gap inside a dealing range. Do not look for fair value gaps below here because there are millions of fair value gaps on the charts. Price is not going to fill some fair value gap down. There's only going to fill a fair value gap that's in the dealing range. That's how price moves. So with that in mind, we can take our silver bullet entries. And if I flip the chart over, you can see that it's the same for bullish entries. We look for external range liquidity purge on the 15 minute time frame. And afterwards, we look for a market structure shift. We also look for SMT divergence. Please make a habit of looking for SMT divergence with every single model because that's going to increase your win rate. So I'm going to give you some correlating pairs. So for your USD, you would use pound sterling to US dollar. For Australian dollar to US dollar, you would use NZD slash USD. For Euro JPY, you would use pound sterling to Japanese yen. For NAS 100, you would use US 30 and SNP 500. So you take your entry, go for 1 to 1, 1 to 2 or 1 to 3. I suggest you go for 1 to 2, and you target, you have this in mind that this is your draw on liquidity. And but I hope by now you know that we should look for external range liquidity purge after 10. And we can also look just before 10. So if you see in the past that price has already taken out some form of external range, and we are pushing up towards this draw on liquidity. Okay, let's say. Let me just quit this. So let's say that the silver bullet time starts here. But price already had a market structure shift and an entry. So the silver bullet session starts here. We had already entered. We wouldn't enter here because we were not in the silver bullet times, but the silver bullet starts here. Now you can just mark out any fair value gap that's here, and then you can look to take your entry towards your draw on liquidity, which is the internal range liquidity on the 15 minute time frame. So now let me give you guys some examples and then everything is going to be crystal clear. So here is example one, guys, looking at your USD on the 15 minute first. So the silver bullet session started here, but we didn't have a clear draw on liquidity, right? So you can see that over here we swept the liquidity, right? We swept the external range liquidity. Right here, what do we have? We have a fair value gap. So if I go to the one minute time frame, right? So we need a body closure for us to determine the market structure shift. So I want to wait. Right here, we are at 10.50, right? So we must get our entry before the 11 a.m. And now I'm going to use the middle line for entry because the fair value gap is very big and we need at least 1 to 2. So my entry is going to be here. And let's see if we're getting 1 to 2. So it's going to be here. So let's see if we get an entry. And at 10.51, we got our entry. And you're going to see that this plays out perfectly. So a very clean trade. 
Now, of course, this was in hindsight, but this is how you look at the markets when you are looking at them live, right? You have to look at different things. So one to two is must for you to be sustainably profitable in the long run. So always go for one to two. You can decrease your stop loss. Don't worry, it will also help you out. Look at the precision here, goodbye. So thank you so much for watching. 